The next thing we need to learn how to do is to change the size of the brush. I started this painting using a fairly large brush. If you want to change the size, tap three fingers on the screen and move them upwards and then drag them down. And you'll see this circle changing size. I'll move it up and that's 100% size. And if we pick a color from the color picker and now paint, you can see that we have a fairly broad brush. Now I'll tap three fingers on again and drag down the screen. And you can see now we're getting a much smaller circle. Now if I start painting, you'll see that we've got a much smaller size of brush. around the composition. Now to do that, we click on the layer and then choose Transform Layer Contents. And now we can drag it. And now we can see whether the composition is better with this on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. I'm going to load the same image that we just created the painting from. Right, so now what we've got is a tracing image and we have a canvas that is, is exactly the same size as the tracing image. Now that's a little tricky, that procedure, and it took me a while to figure that out, but that's the fastest way that I found of getting the, the canvas size correct. So now we can start with the painting and we'll use exactly the same procedure. We'll start with the biggest brush we can get. Fill up the canvas. If you find the brushes are not big enough, what you can actually do is reduce the size of the uh, painting. Now my tracing image was fairly large here, and my brush is a little bit on the small side. I would like to have a larger brush if possible. So what I might do is go back to that tracing image and actually change the size, the pixel size, so that it's a little bit smaller. So that's something you want to actually experiment with a bit. And then you'll eventually find the, the right size. So that was a, that's a quick sketch. Now we'll go back to the tracing image and I'm going to change the opacity so that we can see what our painting looks like. That's not bad. So I'll take the knife now and I'll smooth, get rid of a few of these white spaces. That won't affect the brushwork, but it will get rid of some of these white areas. And I can soften certain edges if I want them more soft. Now, one of the good things you can do with um, a digital painting system like this that you can't do with paper is you can really work out your edge notams. So I'll show you how to do that. We basically uh, start with our notan. In this case, we've got a three-value notan. And now what we do is we pick the knife tool and we're going to do some blending. 
And you can experiment a little bit with the different types of blending, but what I'm going to do is um, I've picked the knife edge trail tool. So to get that, you click the presets button after you've chosen the knife, and that gives you this menu of different types of knives. The knife edge tool I found is one of the, the best ones to use. It gives you the, simulates the uh, sorting of edges the best. And now what I can do is we can just work on softening certain edges of the painting. This allows us to develop the focal area, do transitions. So what I'm doing is basically trying to focus on the most interesting parts of the design. 